What is up, everybody? We're going to start back with our Let's Play of Elden Ring. Today, we are facing Margit the Fell Omen one more time, seeing if we can beat him. If we can't get through today, we're going to go ahead and start exploring for better loot, better gear, beefing our character up. Quinn the Knight here will be beefy enough to beat him one day. So we're going to go ahead and give him the old college try. And hopefully we have better success than our last try. We'll go ahead and give it a shot. And see if we could do it. So we were able to do it. So we're gonna approach this site of grace up ahead. After he stops giving us a little speech about how he's gonna get us. But we'll go up to the site of grace right ahead here, light it up, and then get a surprise visit to the which she says that she's testing us and going to take us off to the round table hold. Forgive me. So we're going to go ahead and let her take us. Testing you to see whether or not Grace truly does guide you and whether you are fit to face the challenge that entails. It seems my worries were unfounded. Torrent had your measure from the very start, whereas I merely pretended. There is but one other thing I can do to offer you guidance. I can take you to the round table hall, gathering place of tarnished champions, guided by grace. Very well, let my hand rest upon you for but a moment. So, as we enter the round table hold, we're going to make sure to speak to everyone. So let's give it a go. Oh, this is a rare occasion. I can't remember the last time a new tarnished made their way to the round table. Very well. As your senior, I bid you welcome. It is safe here. You may let down your guard. Allow me a word of advice, as your senior. You are a mere visitor to the round table. Nothing more. A house guest. Yet to earn their keep. Remember your place, newcomer. There's nothing left to say. Ah, hello. You must be new here. I'm... well, 
Just call me Dialos. The honor of one's house holds little import in these lands. By the way, have you met a young woman named Lanya on your travels? She's my servant, but fickle as the wind. Take your eyes off her for but a moment and she's good as gone. If you find her, please be sure to tell me. Be sure to tell me if you meet a young woman named Lanya. She's a servant to my house. She's been my companion since childhood. I've lost count of the number of times I've had to find her like this. Honestly, she's such a little tomboy. Oh, I see you've just arrived. Welcome to the Round Table Hold. I'm Corin, a man of the cloth. I teach incantations, the strength granted us by the two fingers, and explore the secrets of the Golden Order, so that one day, if a tarnished of the Round Table Hold should become Elden Lord, I might counsel them, ensuring order regains its proper form, writing rule over men. By the way, do you still see it? The guidance of grace. You do? Wonderful news. Most tarnished are blind to it these days. You are something of a rare breed. Well, what do you say? Care to learn an incantation of the two fingers? Yeah. Let's see. Eh, not at the moment, Corin. We're not gonna find any incantations. May the golden order shine through you. So, just exploring. We're gonna just go around here. Find the Edge Lord. Get the JoJo's pose. Then make our way down to the twin husks. Twin maiden husks. And then we're gonna think about it, but let's see. We are a knight, so it would make sense to have the knight armor. So it sounds perfect for us, because we're an unknown knight. So just looking at it, eh, let's see, do we want to do anything, buy it, maybe? Um, you know what? You know what? Yeah. We're a knight. We should be wearing the knight set. So we're going to go ahead and try and buy it all. Fortunately, unfortunately, we run out of money. So we're stuck with just the helm and the chess piece. Luckily, we get to keep our medium load. So we're still able to do our medium roll over here. We're going to find our blacksmith and Fia. I'm going to give Fia a hug. I know that it gives me a debuff, but I'm not really going to care. Your new face. No matter. It's all the same. Lay out your arms. Let's get smithing. So, we don't have any stones yet, so we can't upgrade. And then I'm thinking, oh, should we do this? But we don't have high stats, so it's not really good to. I see you've noticed the chains. Nothing special. I'm a prisoner, and these are my chains. I'm trapped by the hold. I'm dying, smithing for you fools. <laughs> That's all there is to so, it. So we're just gonna go ahead. No, don't read too much into it. Well, no grudge against you. My being a prisoner is no fault of yours. Besides, I don't mind smithing. Despite my differences, the weapons get stronger all the same. Given time, technique never fails. Besides, it helps me forget. The sheer terror of her. And let our blacksmiths, our blacksmith be on our way over, we're gonna say hi to Fia here. Greetings, great champion called by grace. I am Fia. Circumstances have compelled my stay at the Round Table Hold. Great champion, 
Would you allow me to hold you? But briefly, perhaps you might share with me some of your lively vigor and your stout-heartedness. Doing so will grant me the warmth of a champion. And you, I am sure, will bear a Balderkin's blessing. Do you think it vulgar, perhaps? Where I come from, it is a sacred act. Ah, my thanks, great finally. champion. In all these Souls games, I finally get a hug. It's all I ever needed. You are a saint, Fia. You are very warm. What you felt light up inside you was a Baldekin's blessing. Though it is but a fleeting thing, I am afraid. Come back to me, should you require another. I will take you in my arms as often as you need. So if you noticed in the top left corner, while she was hugging us, our health just got a little tick taken away. It's about 10% of it. It's not too big of a debuff. During my first playthrough, I had no idea it was happening. During this one, I'm just not going to really care about it. It's not too big of a debuff where it'll cause us too much trouble. But doing all of that, we have spoken to everybody, so we're going to go ahead and rest. See if we can level up. We can't. We don't have enough. So, with us resting, resetting the area, our good buddy Gideon, the all-knowing, has made his way into his study. So let's go ahead and run through his dialogue to see if he has anything good to say. What do you need? Oh, are you aggrieved at the notion you were but a visitant here? Then you would do well to remember the first words of grace given to you. Stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord. If those words held any meaning to you, follow the guidance of grace, lay low the shard bearers, and claim for yourself. A great rune. Do so, and the doors to the round tables in the chamber will open, and you will receive the wisdom of the Two Fingers. Once the wisdom of the Two Fingers becomes your own, I'll impart to you a proper welcome. As a true member of the round table, I have high hopes for you. I'm sick and tired of them. These Nambi Pambi times think us no more than a shelter from the rain. We've spoken long With enough. That, he basically tells us, you better go get some shard bearers to get some great runes. So we're off back to go claim that at the next location, which is Stormvale Castle. Going back to what Vare said to go for. Uh, Godric the Golden is our first shard bearer that we are going to find, and they told us he is in Stormvale. So we're going to go ahead and make our way up and then going through it. So, so we're going to try and get through the entirety. If we run into some snags along the way, again, there's always plenty of Limgrave to explore. But we're going to go ahead and try to get this all taken care of without having to go to the I was thinking of leaving the side stuff towards the end of the playthrough so we can kind of just run through it. But I have a sinking suspicion that we're going to run into some issues here in the castle with our flasks not upgraded and... Our weapons not upgraded. Fire grease can come in handy. There are some enemies that are going to be weak to fire coming up ahead. So it's always good to have some grease on you. So it's always best to explore as much as you can in this game, 
because everything you find, you will find a use for it. Especially if you try to utilize it rather than ignore it like I did on my first playthrough because I'm a hoarder. And I love to hoard items I collect throughout the game. So we're going to try to utilize these crafting materials and craft books that we find as we continue through. But with that, that'll lead us to the end of this episode. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day!